Unlocking English Grammar Diving into Linking Verbs and Predicate Adjectives Hello Learners! Welcome to another exciting video in our Learning English Grammar Fundamentals, Verbs and Tenses, Introduction to Verbs, Linking Verbs series. Today, we are going to explore a unique area of English grammar, linking verbs and predicate adjectives. We'll pay special attention to the definition of predicate adjectives and how they work with linking verbs. Let's dive right in. A predicate adjective is an adjective that follows a linking verb and modifies or refers back to the subject of the sentence. The concept might seem a little confusing, but once you understand and practice it, you will see it's quite straightforward. For example, in the sentence, John is happy, happy, is the predicate adjective describing the subject, John. So, what role do linking verbs play here? Linking verbs do not express action like action verbs. Instead, they connect the subject of the verb to additional information about the subject. Examples of common linking verbs include is, are, feel, look, seem, and become. In our previous example, John is happy, is, serves as the linking verb, connecting the subject, John, to the predicate adjective, happy. It's like a bridge between the two. Let's look at some more examples to clarify the concept. 1. The flowers smell sweet. 2. She looks beautiful. 3. The cake tastes delicious. In each sentence, the bolded word is the predicate adjective. The linking verbs, smell, look, and tastes connect the subject to these predicate adjectives, giving us more information about the subject. We've come to the end of our journey exploring linking verbs and predicate adjectives today. With this knowledge, you'll be able to recognize predicate adjectives and understand how linking verbs work to describe the subject in a sentence. Remember, grammar is the building block of effective communication, Keep practicing, and soon, using predicate adjectives will become second nature to you. Thank you for joining us in this video. Happy learning, and we hope to see you in our next video as we continue to unravel the mysteries of English grammar.